Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Virgo, this will be your edition of Sexy Hairs the Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Virgo, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Virgo, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find that energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Virgo, as I'm progressing through the reading and you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and Moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the About page in my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accept it via cash app at dollar sign sexy tarot. All right, Virgo, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. This is intended to be a general reading for September 16th through the 30th, 2021. Let me get you the scoop. So I really want this reading to be as general as possible, but if love creeps into the picture, we'll deal with it. Spirit, what energies are surrounded Virgo September 16th through the 30th? What energies are surrounded Virgo? Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, the reason for your reading, reading is honesty and communication. Honesty and communication. So you need to have a talk with someone. And this talk needs to be an honest talk. Um, you have to take action. It's something you want to happen, but you really want peace when you have this talk. You prayed for something. And you, spirits in the building with the sirens, you pray for something, and you just want this issue to be resolved. At the bottom of the deck, you have take a step back. You have expect miracles. And you have divine timing. So Virgo, in the right time after having this talk, Spirit wants you to not keep pushing for an answer. Don't let someone push you for an answer. Whatever this talk is about, just let things unfold naturally. And just watch, watch what happens. Just watch what happens. Virgo, you have to take charge and action. Take charge and action. Like whatever this is, it can't wait anymore. It cannot wait anymore. You know, it's been um, on your spirit to have this conversation for a while. And right now, it's time for you to take charge in action. Let's see what this is about. Spirit, why well, say, woo? At the bottom of the deck, you have mature men. For some reason, this always looks like a lawyer to me. You have message. And you have despair. And Virgo, something has changed. You know, I don't, I think um, this, whatever this is, it's just over. It's over. This, I don't think this is your despair. Um, I think you tried to be loyal to someone. I feel this heavily. You tried to be loyal to someone or something or some agency. And it's just a missed opportunity. And it's like, you don't want to put in a work on this anymore. So there, you know, there needs to be a um, conversation. And this conversation is regarding these new changes. Okay. 
it's like you want healing, you want to provide healing. And plus you need to get some more information from this person. Some of you may be consulting with a lawyer. And Virgo, you were thinking about working on this with this occupation card. You were thinking about working on this or all the work you put in this. And spirit is like, it's time to take charge and action and come out of the thinking phase. Whatever this is, it involves your stability. It involves um, precision. Let's see what this is about. Spirit, why take charge and action here for Virgo? Why take charge and action here for Virgo? It's like somebody's not consistent. Something's inconsistent. And you need you need to have a talk with someone about it. You have um, the kindergarten teacher. Some of you might need to talk to your child kindergarten teacher. You have the Ace of Cups. And you have the Ten of Cups. So Virgo, it's like you learned something and whatever it is you learn and whatever it is you're seeing you feel good somebody's apologizing to you somebody's apologizing to you they love you this could be a family member it's like but somebody wants something to be seen in a certain kind of way or they're worried about how something is being viewed. Virgo, you have the rock star. You have the rock star. This is my Knight of Wands energy. And this conversation that maybe you want someone to take charge in action. You want them to put the work in and stop being so inconsistent. Um, you could be in the music industry or the entertainment industry, but all I know is you don't want to be played, whatever this is. It's like, you're not going to play me. Spirit, why is the rock star here for Virgo? Why is it? So you realize somebody has to been doing all they could do. And that's why you want to hear this conversation. At the bottom of the deck, you have strength. You may be dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> you have trust. And you have intuition. And you trust your intuition. And everything in your intuition is saying, look, I don't know if I could trust this person. You don't know if you could trust this person. Because it's something you work on. You took a lot of pride in it. This, this really could do, deal with home, family, or some people you work with. But you need someone to be more consistent. Because it's been brought to your attention. This person might be playing around and shit. And you need them to get to it. Get to it. Spirit. It's like... Virgo needs somebody to put in the work. You, Virgo's want, you want Virgo to take charge and action because something's inconsistent and this won't be brought to Virgo's attention. Tell me about this inconsistent. It's like somebody want all the attention. Like It's like they want all this attention. At the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. You had the clouds and you had a writer. And it's like, Virgo, you like, I'm going to talk to this person. They live in a life of Riley. Somebody could have caused a lot of confusion. It's draining you emotionally. And you need it to end. You need whatever this is to end. And you don't know if this person doing their part or not. So you want... Somebody gets, for some of y'all, y'all having something delivered to someone via certified mail. And Virgo, it's been illuminated to you that it's time. It's just time. You, you need things to change. 
You need things to change. It's time. You thought about this. You like, is they putting this work in? Like, I need to get this done. That's what I'm hearing. Like, I need to get this done. It's like this, this need to be dealt with now. Spirit. What is it that's been illuminated to Virgo? It's like it's time. Like you know the time is now. What is this about? Mm. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. For some of you, this is a lawyer and a Nine of Wands. You trying to protect something. You don't trust somebody. <clears throat> you trying to protect your stability. And you going to fight for this. And you know the truth. You like, damn, I got to I gotta protect myself from this. And you in some take charge type of mode. You speaking truth. You speaking truth. It's like you want to stand your ground, though. You real persistent. And what you persistent about is because you like, look, I'm not going to allow you to leave me stuck with this eight of swords energy. I walk away first. You're not going to leave me stuck. Whoever this lovers is, some of you are dealing with a Gemini. This could be a con contractual agreement you try not to be stuck in. Because some inconsistent. It's like somebody not doing their part. And you know it. And you like, oh, time is up. Time is up. Mm -mm, time is up. So you about to make a decision. You want to let this go. For some of you, this person may have two people. Or you may have two people. If this is a romantic connection. And they don't know what to choose. But I know if this is business or work or something like that, it's like, you're not going to leave me stuck in this. You, I walk away first. I want to see what this decision is about. Spirit, why is this lovers here? Why is this lovers here for Virgo? Because it's like you really need to take charge of this. Why is this love here for Virgo spirit? Yeah, it's a conflict. Some of y'all might be facing a divorce. Virgo, you had the Ten of Pentacles. You had the Three of Wands. And you had the Four of Swords. You don't want to move forward with this. You just like, no, I want to take a break. I'm turning my back to this marriage, this commitment, this contract, this job. I'm just turning my back. Because you're making this decision because it's too much conflict, too much fighting. Maybe the, the, field, the, the field that you're in is too competitive. Or you might be in conflict with your friends. You might be in business with the wrong people and they playing around too much. And in order to write this, you like, look, y'all leaving me stuck. I got to let this go. Whatever this is, you, you ready to let it go. <clears throat> Virgo, you had manifestation, manifestation. And it's something you place your attentions to the universe for. And you just want it to rain on you. It is hope for fulfillment here. However, with this five of wands again, it's like you keep running into this conflict. It's like a battle of wills when it comes to this house. When it comes to this house, y'all might be fighting over property. Y'all could be fighting over property, but a decision needs to be made. And this is what you're thinking about. And it's like whoever this male energy is, they real cautious. So you have to be cautious to them. This is somebody you once loved. Or they once loved you. 
But y'all going at it. Spirit. Why does Virgo need to be cautious? Because Spirit saying be cautious of this person. Because it's a lot, it's like they want to fight with you. It's like they want to fight with you over a house or they want to fight with you in the house. Tell me about why Virgo should be cautious, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have justice again. Like somebody might need to call the law. Justice is here and justice is here. Some of you dealing with a Libra. This might be a divorce or the uh, court system might be involved. You had the two of cups and the page of swords. And Virgo, it's like, for some of you, you, you could have saw that this person was trying to, um, oh, you trying to figure out how can you make things fair for all parties involved. You trying to figure out how you can make things fair for all parties and fall. Because this is just too much. It's overwhelming with this ten of wands. It's a burden. Because whatever y'all trying to make happen, it's not working. It's just stagnant. It's like nobody want to sacrifice or to sacrifice this home is a burden. But I know it's a lot of drama over it. I, this could be over a house or in the house. So with this knight, some of you done with a Pisces with this hangman. And with this knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy, things are halted. It's too much. It's just too much of a burden. It's like, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I want to see what this burden is about. Spirit, what is this Ten of Wands about for Virgo? What is this Ten of Wands about? Ten of Wands, Knight of Cups, Duh. I'm here and missing, and this is nice guy is over. At the bottom of the deck, you seeing the same thing, the Five of Swords. You have the Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands. And Virgo, what you telling me is like, look, I'm planning to win. I'm planning to get my way by hook or crook, by hook or crook. This Ten of Wands, this burden is it's overwhelming. This load is too heavy to carry. With this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, it's like you don't even want to be nice to this person no more. With death, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You might not even love this person no more. And then the house, it's just like you got to move. You might be walking on eggshells around this person. Virgo. And it's like you just want them to get out. Or get away from you. Because it's too much conflict. Virgo, you have harmony and resolution. Harmony and resolution. And spirit is saying like this, try to try to bring as much harmony as you can. Like make it peaceful in order for a resolution to be had. Because whoever this person is that's thinking of you or you thinking of them, it's like somebody want peace for it back quickly. They like yo, can the peace just please come back quickly? With this emperor energy, some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Somebody is trying to take control over the situation. This could be a boss at work. And they gonna make the decision because they, they want peace restored. Somebody have an idea as to how to make this happen. Somebody has an idea how to bring the peace. Spirit. It looks like harmony and peace is needed here. And someone's thinking about how to bring the peace. Can you tell me about this for Virgo?
at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords. You have the Ten of Cups and Death. Some of you dealing with Scorpio, I'm just hearing, get the fuck out the house. Just get out or just get away from me. Just move out. You know to make me happy if they move the hell out. That's what I'm hearing. You know what to make me happy is if they get out my face. Well, whoever this emperor is, they have an idea how to bring a harmony back. So with this king of wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, they gonna try to take the lead on this and take action. They gonna be real charming. Sorry, I'm getting all the calls. They gonna be real charming. They gonna try to be real kind with this Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So they gonna come in and be real kind. They're going to take control over the situation. And the action they're going to take is the Six of Pentacles. They want to have a fair division, an even distribution. So they figure if they break everything down the middle or give equally, that'll bring the peace. This could be you with them. Virgo, you have Guardian Angel. Guardian angel, your guardian angels are with you. They're watching over you because they're concerned. There's a message of concern here about something being um, fair, balanced, healing. This could be your parent that's worried about you. Somebody could be trying to negotiate with you and compromise. And with and with the this the the the, the magi. and with the magi, aka the magician, they want to make something happen. But Virgo, you gotta be careful, cause this could be manipulation. Cause this person look like they scheming. See that keyboard? They might be trying to play you. So I feel like spirit is giving you a message of concern and let you know it's hope because your uh, guardian angels are surrounding you. Because you don't know which way to play this. And with this death card and this stork, somebody could, some of y'all really done with a Scorpio. And you feel like the only way to heal this is I'm here and move the fuck out. Get out. Get away from me. But you want to transform this situation. Spirit. Tell me about this movement. It's like you searching your emotions, listening to your intuition. Spirit. Virgo. Wants to make something happen. Somebody's concerns. Oh, somebody concerned that they being manipulated. And they want to transform this. It looks like somebody wants to heal this and level up or move out or see some improvements. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the four of wands. You had the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So I keep saying like, no, that's my house. I don't know why I'm hearing it. No, that's my house. But somebody trying to protect their stability. Because there's the air of toxicity here. It really could be a lawyer involved for some of you. And what I'm hearing is someone feels like they're being manipulated. And they concern and they want some changes made because they want improvements. When it comes to this three of cups, this could be a friend group or reconciliation or a coming together to resolve this conflict with this five of wands. Somebody wants to resolve this conflict because there's so much confusion involved with this seven of cups. It's like someone is trying to 
somebody real concerned because of so much strife, so much conflict. Somebody could have been cheating. For some of you, somebody was cheating. For some of you, it's discord amongst the friend group. The spirit is concerned and it's like they want y'all to end whatever this is and having, I'm hearing attitude adjustment, attitude adjustment. What is this five of wands about spirit? Spirit, what are they, what is this discord over? What is this strife over this conflict, this competition? Tell me about this five of wands. Why is this five of wands here, spirit? It's like spirit, like don't react. Take a step back. Take a step back. And if you calm down and take a step back, you won't see miracles abounding. This could be with a soulmate connection. At the bottom of the deck, you had the Ten of Swords. You had the Fool and you had the Queen of Pentacles. And Virgo, what you were telling me is like, look, I don't want to go nowhere new. I don't want to uh, take no risks with this. I want to nurture what I have. I, I don't want to make no changes. Okay. I don't know what the situation is, so... Well, this fight is between this two of cups, these two people. This soulmate union... And somebody um, is weak. They weak for the other one. Or they are holding back something from the other one. What they holding back is this information or holding back making a decision with this King of Swords energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I want to see what this decision is about. Spirit, what is this King of Swords? What, is, what decision should, is supposed to be made? Tell me about this King of Swords. What decision is supposed to be made? Somebody not listening to their intuition. Spirit, like you need to listen to your intuition in order to gain control. You had this Ace of Wands. This three of swords and the same man. It's like one, somebody trying to hold on to the other one because they don't want them to have something new. It's like somebody trying to hold somebody back here. Somebody feels rejected. And because of th this decision is somebody feels rejected so they're not talking or they're keeping secrets. To try to control this. So somebody not giving the other one information that they asking for. Somebody's asking for information and the information is not being released. Because listen, they not releasing this information because they trying to figure out what's the best way to play it. And there's a concern about this like, yo, where the information I asked for. Virgo, you have healing energy, healing energy. There's an opportunity to heal whatever this is in this marriage, this contractual agreement. It could have been involved in a third party. There's an opportunity to have peace, to have peace. But you got to make the changes and make the decision because somebody's not making the decision to have this peace to heal this. It's like somebody like, I don't want no peace. I'm not doing nothing with this ghost. It's no peace. If somebody want to uh, move, be there alone, stand alone. It's like, I keep hearing like, get out. Like, can you get out? Spirit, you're telling me there's the opportunity to heal this marriage or this contractual agreement, but because there's no peace. 
Somebody don't want to get a divorce if this is a marriage. And somebody do. It's like y'all not on the same page. Virgo, you had the Ten of Pentacles. You had the Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Oh, my God. So, Virgo, it looked like you like, I got what I need. And, and you planning to take action. You going to make some changes because you, you going to have what you want. You going to have your way. It's like you going to force somebody to get out. That's what I'm hearing. Or you going to force somebody to get away from you. But you like, you won't hang your way. See, it's an opportunity to heal this marriage or this contractual agreement, but it's no peace. It's like somebody want to be left alone. They like, yo, just get on. Just go ahead with this three of swords energy. There's some disappointment or somebody meddling or a third party. And they like, no, this ain't fair. How does fear if it's causing me agony this is this ain't this not this not gonna be consistent it's like one minute everything going good and then next minute shit falling apart like this ain't fair so how how y'all fixing it if one person being in and out they not keeping up with their end of the bargain Spirit, what is this three of swords? Because something is disappointing, disappointing here. Somebody like this not fair. Tell me about this three of swords. What is this unfairness about? Tell me about this. It's like so disappointing. Yeah, somebody like I'm going nowhere. Or a decision was made that somebody could stay. You have the Hierophant. Some of you are done with the Taurus. You have the Devil. Damn, what conflicting energies and temperance. It's a transformation here. Somebody bucking their spiritual awakening. Somebody's supposed to be honoring the spiritual awakening, this transformation, and making a decision to be forgiven, to restore this peace, to heal this connection. And it's like somebody acting like the devil and somebody acting like the angel. And so the government or the justice system might have to step in here to bring balance and make it fair. Because y'all like, y'all ain't trying to fit. It's like the clash of the titans. It's like somebody's disappointed because they feel like they're not getting a fair shake. And all this is happening so fast. Because somebody didn't keep up their end of the deal. With this world card energy, some of you are dealing with a fixed sign such as an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus. It's like you learned that they could come back or something. You learned that this person could come back like they're not going anywhere. You feel like they playing mind games. Like, is you trying to resolve this or fix this or not? Virgo, you had spiritual growth. You had spiritual growth. Whatever the situation is, it taught you a whole lot. It taught you how to ground yourself. And this is why you need to have this conversation, an honest conversation. And spirit, like, take a step back, like, before you, like, Go off. You have the lovers. The lovers. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. This person taught you a lot. And again, this could be a contractual agreement. Whatever this is, it grew you up. And you got to make a decision. And this decision you're going to make is going to break somebody's heart with this three of swords. Three of swords. It's like y'all going for blood. It's like y'all can't clean this up. It's like y'all need to, you or them or both of y'all need to spiritually grow and find what brought y'all back to, brought y'all together to begin with. 
find the love and compassion, but it's like y'all out for blood. Everybody all up in here in the head. Throwing daggers and shit. And every time y'all try to heal it and bring changes to this family dynamic, it just causes a bunch of anxiety and stress. And spirit, like, y'all need to lay all y'all cards on the tape. Let me come back up here to harmony and resolution. Because somebody want to make this right. I purposely left that out. And it's like they praying for spiritual guidance. They want to make it fair. Spirit, how does this person want to make it fair with the Six of Pentacles? How does this person want to make it fair with the Six of Pentacles? Oh, this person don't want to leave. They like, they, they like, listen. Oh, so what they saying is, look. Or you're saying, I'll leave. I'll go by my lonesome. However, this is going to break my heart. If, if I can't be around you, this this will really hurt. Like, let's try to fix this. Let's get control over this. And it looked like you was willing to work on this and heal the stability. And you made the decision to make some changes in time. But somebody found somebody new. Or y'all wanted to renew this and work on it, but somebody didn't put the work in. And when they didn't put the work in, they could have had somebody else or was working on another contractual agreement and somebody feel like that was the mind games. Because somebody here looked like they want harmony and resolution and they was thinking about, yeah, we could fix this real fast by trying to take control over it. And their idea was to come in and make an offer that they thought would be fair to everybody. They was like, look, this is draining me. So this person uh, was like, look, just let me get on my feet or something. Let me get my independence. Let me come back to get on my feet. And they was told no. They was told no, something like that. Somebody feel like they not stable enough. So now we got this spiritual growth because this whole reading is about, yo, we need to talk. And now when they come to try to fix this and bring these changes and this healing and this growth, it's full of stress. It's like somebody's so heartbroken because they felt like this was their match and it didn't grow. Or whatever this was, was meant for them and it didn't grow. Spirit, tell me why it's so much stress when it comes to these, this healing. Why, why is it all this sorrow here? Virgo, you like, look, this is mine. This is mine. And mine alone. At the bottom of the deck, you had a king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You had a three of pentacles and a high priestess. And and I'm telling you, some of y'all really dealing with a Scorpio. We got the higher fan. This is a true counterpart. It's like all these good memories here. This is like a marriage. All these good memories here. 
But somebody like, yo, they wasn't, I don't want to invest in this no more. I'm not putting no more money into this. And somebody secretly had a third party or was secretly working on something else. I don't think this is you, Virgo, because you right here. And what you seeing to me is look sexy. It's over. This is mine. I did some soul searching about this marriage, this commitment, this home. You could have saw something too. And whatever you manifesting, Virgo, I'm gonna tell you this is gonna go in your way. This is gonna go your go 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 in your favor. I'm here for fuck you pay me. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm hearing. I want to see what Virgo's looked into. Spirit, Virgo did some soul searching. Why is the hermit here? Because Virgo, you like, mm-mm, that's mine. All right, that's what I'm going to do. The truth made a decision for something new. Oh, that's why you don't want to give it up. Somebody tried to play you. They was being shady. This person, if this is a connection, they was cheating. And they was keeping a lot of secrets. If this was a job, they didn't keep their promise. Something was going on in the background. They held something back from you at this agency. And Virgo, what you looked into, what you did some soul searching is like, oh, they made, they want this decision because they got something new. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. They being shady with the Seven of Swords. They sneaky. Let's see what the Seven of Swords is about. Spirit, why is the Seven of Swords here? What is this Seven of Swords energy? So, oh, Bro, did you catch somebody having sex with somebody? And that's why you don't want them to have this? Or you saw somebody plotting against you and they, they thought it was a game. They thought it was a game. Yeah, like somebody was keeping these secrets. Either you saw somebody having sex with somebody or you caught somebody plotting against you. You, if, if it was somebody cheating, you caught them with a side piece. You could afford them giving it to the side piece. They backs was turned. And for some of you, you know this person just looking for another somebody else or trying to be with somebody else, expecting to be with somebody else. Because you got this ace of wine, ace of pentacle, ace of swords. Two of Cups. It looks like for some of you, this is a divorce. And somebody, you don't want them to have the house or they don't want you to have the house because they think you got somebody new. And y'all need to have a talk. Y'all like, mm, we need to talk. And Spirit be like, take a step back. Take a step back and expect miracles. Everything will happen in the right time. Spirit be like, pray. Ask and you will receive. Ask and you will receive. Like your friends might help you. Your friends might help you because they will listen to you. Your friends listen to you when they come to your romantic connection. So you might have a good friend group. 
But this look like a messy situation. Let me get you some advice. It's like this used to be a happy place. And it's like something happy that went to shit. Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Virgo regarding this reading? Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Virgo regarding this reading? Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Virgo? Virgo, spirit is saying Pleiades, Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. A time to give rather than take Virgo. So Virgo, you feel like you keep giving, giving, giving. And they keep taking, taking, taking. So you on this mission to get more information. Spirit, like get some more information. Like, cause you ready to just get out, want them to get out or replace, something like that. Virgo, Spirit is saying boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Because, see, you looking for these answers. It say the answers you need are coming. But somebody closed off. Because here you were trying to get some information and you ain't receiving it. And you not going to get it. Somebody is so guarded. Somebody is so guarded when it comes time for you to get these answers. You trying to ask questions and get the answers you need. But this person, whoever this is, is real guarded. And Virgo spirit is saying, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. You know, maybe you need therapy, counseling, go to HR, whatever the situation is. Because you don't have to do this alone. Because spirit trying to get y'all to handle this peace, peacefully. But shit about to pop off. And it's time to take action. Because a fairy climax is approaching. Like somebody's family might get involved. Spirit, like, just have faith. Just have faith. It's like you got to step up. You got to use your intuition, step up. And you got to let this person know you got more love in your heart the discord like show your negotiation skills or something and when this person going to the left or not um negotiating or complying fall back fall back like cut off the communication they'll notice it because i'm seeing like this priest is she don't talk she don't talk don't even let this person um yoke you into an argument you could break this chain and let this person know you serious as hell because there's some information you trying to get. It's something you trying to resolve. You trying to bring peace into a situation. And somebody all guarded up in here. And coming from here. You know what I mean? Like making this harder than what it has to be. Just holding back. And you like, look, we need to talk. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. This has been your edition of Sexy Heads to Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Virgo. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. Peace, Virgo. I hope it work out for you, love. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot, she has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn,
Aquarius and Pisces are the number one subscriber wondering what sexy sees. You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Terror. <laughs> 